everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here. I'm super excited that I'm back to you with another project, another tutorial for you and a project uh, that definitely was one of the most requested recently. Altered box, wooden box, any kind of box to be done altered, mixed media box. I had uh, tons of you asking about it, so finally I went to my attic <laughs> because this box and as few other were on the attic after we moved here four years ago. Oh look, that's even... <laughs> that's a box for hiding those uh, things for the serviettes, you see? <laughs> that's lovely. Um, I'm gonna put those aside because I don't need them. Maybe I'll be altering them as well. I don't know, I don't think so, but I'm gonna put this aside. There we go. And we will alter today this little cute box. So where do I start? I gathered a few things. Indeed, I have some resins, I have some metals, I have some uh, stencil chipboards, all the bits and pieces that I absolutely love and adore. And Hannah is asleep, Lucas is at work, uh, Emily is still on the camp, so I was thinking, let's do it. At least I'm gonna glue down things and maybe I'm, I'm gonna have to come back to it later on, but that's perfectly fine. Now what I'm, I'm thinking what to do is I'm gonna firstly add uh, wedges. So I'm gonna just, oh, I need some lace for definitely, for check texture. Uh, I'm gonna um, put all the white wedges around it. Why do we do it? We just want to prime our box, whether it's a canvas, whether it's a box or a glassy thing or metal piece, it's always great to prime your surface for all kinds of mixed media work where you add colors by paints or sprays or waxes or whichever you like. It's good to prime it so things won't soak in into your material. I'm gonna grab my white gesso and I'm gonna start off by adding not a generous amount, quite no, no just a regular amount of gesso in here in on the surface, on top, on the sides and everywhere really. And then, oh, there is van coming with ice creams I think. And gently as well here in the inside. Although I'm not a fan of painting anything inside, but we will see what we're gonna do. We're gonna concentrate for definite on the outside of the box today and hoping to make some gorgeous, gorgeous 3D, really rich in texture and elements and very detailed project because I think this is what you've been waiting for. I tried to find my recent box video and I'm guessing that it could be four or five even years ago being done so that's quite a long time ago. I'll try to find it and I'm gonna try to link it to you after this video so you can have a look. It was green and yellowish I remember. I don't have many actually uh, altering boxes, mixed media boxes done because it's difficult. Flatter is much easier to do and I do have plenty boxes though all kinds of boxes, tissue boxes like um, secret, keeping secrets and like this kind of boxes uh, because I had a vision and hope that I'm gonna be selling my art and I wanted to make things that I could simply sell so boxes was one of those uh, pretty good options I would say Back to you, my box is kind of is dry. Let's say that it's dry. Since this is my front, I'm gonna concentrate and start my work maybe from the back. I wonder, or should I just uh, actually do it in the middle because I will be adding something here in the middle. So that's what I, I think what I'm gonna do. I am gonna just, maybe like this. Firstly, this is a little bit not so even, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And because maybe when when I'll go around with my lace, let me just see, I have my lace from my dad, I think this one is from my dad from like <laughs> tons of years back. So here it is and maybe I'm gonna put it like this in, in front or like this one, each, yeah maybe this one, that could be so cute isn't it? So yeah I'm gonna start off by in front actually and I will use a hot glue gun to it, no I'm gonna use gel medium to it guys, gel medium will be uh, good for that. I think actually I believe um, that hot glue gun would be good as well here but I'm gonna go for gel medium I want to make sure that it's all oh, oopsie, glue down properly and all so I'm gonna oops See, that's why it's not that so easy to do the in the middle. 
Marta in the middle. It's not so that easy to do the box because it's just an awkward kind of awkward with the box. So maybe that's why I was avoiding it. But everything for you guys. I love you so much. I love I I love you to bits like I cannot <laughs> not do projects the way as you would love to see them. And going back to my inspirations from years back where I did I think I wish this to be a little bit lower, I'm guessing, a little bit. Oops. Going back and making inspirations as I used to do, I think many of you is waiting for that. So I'm happy to do that for you. Of course I am. As I said, you are... Um, I'm here for you. So I am happy to <laughs> do this. And yeah, it's nice to actually be challenged and it's nice to, <laughs> to hear... Um, you know do something different and then have a chat about it what would you like to change what would you like to see so I like that now I've done layout which I didn't do for years and that's thanks to you scrapbooking makes me the layout with photographs so you know I'm doing things for you and thanks to you so thank you for that am I off camera oh if I am please forgive me that because I'm just so not used to um, being altering the pro the three D pro project, so probably I will be off camera <laughs> from time to time. So apologize, apologize in advance. And also maybe my camera will be not e enough, um, not enough sharp sometimes. I don't know. But just in case, I'm warning. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So let's cut it here. There we go. That's lovely. So we have our lace around. Let's see how it's... Oh, and we have some hair. <laughs> and there we go. That's how it looks. That's how it looks. There we go. Easy, isn't it? I think it's easy and it's cool and it's totally fine. Now, my next thing that I really wanted to do was to add some stenciling. Oh, no, before... Yes, add some stenciling. And I have this kind of broken mandala, I call it, stencil from, from my shop, from Marami Small Art, so if you fancy it. But I'm sure that you have some kind of uh, lacy stencils in your, in your own stash. So please, please, please do use what you have. Now, time-wise, are we stenciling now? What What's the next step? You know, like because it's going to be difficult with the wet stencil and all to work around it so you have to kind of know that but one more thing I was thinking to add was maybe this um, maybe this uh, what you call it um, string so I don't know if but I can probably use hot glue instantly with it like here in the middle mm -hmm something like that ah come on <laughs> hold on okay and just i was thinking to go around it with it oh because i just love strings in general so i'm very much kind of very very much going around it and i'm really like i'm gonna add some glue here i'm strongly um what's the word in english um I'm making this very, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean, <laughs> I'm like, uh, 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 like a lot of pressure, you know, making sure that it's going to be lasting, and there we go, oh, I love that now, let's see, I don't know what's going on on the back, oh, it's fine, but I'm concentrating on having a nice kind of design here, so I'm really, really, oh, that's cool, even more here, Definitely hot glue in here in the middle, so it's gonna hold. Uh huh. We do something in the middle, guys. So not not to worry. Okay. And same for this one, maybe, if it's possible. There we go. That's so beautiful already, guys. I love, love, love it. And now I think we are absolutely fine to just grab even more of the hot glue and there we go voila and we can cut this piece there we go oh, maybe that was too soon cut because uh, oh there we go 
that's fine. I am touching indeed hot glue gun because it's not that hot anymore and I'm right away when I touch it I right away kind of clean it off from my fingers. That's how I manage always. Wow! I think it's lovely and imagine this now here. Whoa! I love that! It's like as if we doing like this kind of with the material, you know, in English, no clue, even in Polish, I don't know how to say it. Okay, so that's what we have. Now we can do stenciling, because I love my sides, I love how it is. Actually, no, do you know what, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just attach a little bit of gesso around it. And you know why? I tell you why. Because I really wish to make sure that this is kind of like everything nicely holding. So it's um, even adding a little extra texture in here. Uh, so I don't mind if it's a little bit of texture now, actually quite opposite, it would be cool to have touches of gesso extra, te gesso extra texture in here. Let's see, I hope you can see that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's even better. So yes, we are texturing, let's call it, we are texturing our string and our, um, our lace. So we're going to have this all kind of joined together we're not gonna have much of a difference between string and the rest it's like they be they're gonna belong together now I think I'm gonna I need to move this down downstairs somewhere oh, not possible okay I'm gonna make sure that this is gonna hold her uh, so everything is everything is co cohesive now together it's loving each other and hopefully the string is not gonna move much many in many spaces places Okay, so a little bit, even if you have extra gesso like that, standing out, that's perfectly fine because I think this is make this is making it. I'm going to pause the video and grab my coffee because I have a little headache, I feel I didn't finish my coffee. We went, run to the, quickly do shopping before Lucas ran to, to work because um, we needed bread and all the veggies and fruities. Uh, so yes, I am going to... Okay, I am gonna just add here and there the gesso. I think this looks nice now because it's just giving this extra depth and interest and everything is just as if it's together. Or even like this, look, you can tap, tap, tap. Or you can take your palette knife and just go with the palette knife, you know? There we go. Oh, nice. That's even nicer, indeed. Okay. Oops, too much. Okay, and then here even in front, a little bit. That's a bit too much, that's okay. Okay, voila. And now, time for stencil we can definitely go for a stencil now because we'll be working on top part let me grab my clean spatula I'm looking if we recording we are I need to buy new just so I my gesso is finished okay oops that's okay let's see let's see kind of in the middle but no stress, it's not, since the, the whole design is like really funny, it's like, I call it, I called it broken mandala, because it's not even and it's just, here is wrong, there is wrong, and it's perfectly, perfect the way, uh, but, okay, oh, I love that, <gasps> whoa we. I love, love, love it. Let me show you from close. Let me show you. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna off go and clean that stencil. Now, let me just wipe that off. And I need to mind my gesso because it's nearly finished. Let me, let me wash that stencil for you. Back to you. I'm so happy that Hannah is still asleep. Uh, because a lot of it it's done the kind of wet work is done but it would be great if I can add elements and that way this can dry naturally and I can finish off in the evening when she's got when she's asleep again okay I have those corners 
totally leftovers from some projects and I think this this is just asking to be added here and there although these are to the same corners so I oh no maybe I oh no come on <laughs> here like that no 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 it's wrong 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 do I have more of these because this is just I have two of the same oh wait no <laughs> this is longer this is oh no come on come on come on like this it's like this no long long no one is one is wrong let me look for some other corner Do you know what I have four other corners of a different type and I think these will be fine so let's see it's like this one here and this one here and yeah sure why not oh well mm -hmm. or this one here long and long no I think two longs because they usually comes in a set they usually comes in pairs so that's why but you know what it, this is gonna be oh this is gonna be perfect yeah so let's add those I love it like that so let's add them and definitely I'm using gel medium here to make sure that this will hold forever and it's a little bit out uh, I'm standing out from the project just a little bit the corner itself I think it's nice there we go okay yes it's <laughs> it's hard to photograph the box to show the beauty of each side then uh, when you making it it's also difficult because you know it's kind of wet here <laughs> wet there you have to be careful so oops so yeah but I'm glad that you kind of pushed me and pushed me and pushed me and that's great I love that so thank you so much for everyone making comments and suggestions for upcoming videos I, I'm making notes I'm taking notes <laughs> what to bring next time what to make next time okay I love love I love it how do you find it guys I hope you can see it well let me just quickly show you well when it's gonna be colored it's gonna be of course completely different now pretty much done I feel we have to do something now I have this broken resin this is from my shop indeed and this one sometimes breaks down so I thought I'd be completely honest with you maybe two out of 50 or more cent broke down it happens with everything but I just wanted to show that even if your resin is broken you can still use it so let's see if I can actually add this here and then if I can still use this no not so much so let's see hmm what about if I separate that more and then <coughs> no I would have to break <laughs> <laughs> more of that and maybe I I do that there we go because then I can have them because I love this resin it's so gorgeous it's a pity that oh there we go oh yes I love it I hope you can see what I'm seeing can you see what I see now it's a lot of hot glue here <laughs> a bit too much but that's okay and not to worry guys not to worry uh, we're gonna add this here <clears throat> or I can just get rid of some parts of that and <laughs> oh, ho, ho. or not I'll leave it it's okay but I'm gonna leave that for later so this is gonna be my front let's remember that let's see what we're gonna do on top as well is there anything because I was hoping for some writing maybe mm, I was thinking about this lady but then wow actually this could be nice this is one of those moments oopsie, that you can actually use your uh, 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 embellishments that you weren't too sure how to use like this lady for example I don't know then I, was, I thought that I have two of these so this could be cute on the side could it be cute on the side? imagine that whoa it would be cute on the side <sighs> okay hmm okay definitely cute on the side or here on the back as well but back I could have this one 
or not. Wait, wait, wait. Marta is out loud thinking. I was hoping for some of that too. Or... <clears throat> wow, I'm not putting it down because it's still wet. Or just without this lady and have this gorgeous resin on top. Oh, two seconds, two seconds. I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking. Not easy to decide, isn't it? The, the front we know very well. Uh -huh. The front we know. <laughs> oh, wow. This could be nice. Very much standing out and all. Mm -hmm. But this is nearly asking for some title there. It's such a pity to... It's a, you know, it's a frame, so it would be nice to kind of... Or... If I have them. oh this is cute as well and it would match oh okay oh, oh well I it's there <laughs> it decided for itself mm -hmm. wow okay I like I like that mm -hmm. because we could do this it's very kind of Victorian style now that I feel uh-huh it could be there. Nice, actually. Nice, really nice. No. Hmm. I'm trying to picture it. I'm looking at it. I'm trying to picture it when it's gonna be. Um, oh, what's the word? Colored. You know, it always looks different when it's colored. I think I love it like that, and I am not too sure then what to do. Actually, do you know what? This lady is kind of asking to be used, isn't she? She does. She is asking to be oh, maybe like that. So she's nicely covered and the fact that she's caught her body is good. Do you know what? I really think it's nice. I have some other embellishments. I don't know if we need any more. Maybe not. Chipboards. Do we need any more chipboards? Go in there. Hmm. I think it could be nice indeed. Let's see. Let's see. think so. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Okay, I have it. So this and this. This and this. Yeah. Okay. So, chipboard. Oops. Yeah, be careful. It's very delicate indeed. Chipboard going there. On the side. I'm adding 3D gel medium as well to it. The um, modeling paste is still wet, so it's kind of nicely. Oh, I love it. Oh, Hannah is just waking up, I hear. She banged her. Oh, you heard it. Head, head. Um, I give her two minutes, hopefully. She will. She will wait those two minutes while I add just the gel medium okay beautiful now we need to take this off it's like a Victorian style am I right with this lady especially I really think so sometimes she wakes up and she's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then she goes back to sleep so hopefully maybe now I don't have much time left anyway because Emily is back from her camp and I have to go and pick her up so I'll be finishing to gluing this down, all of it, lovely. Then this one. Now you ask if you ask me about those resins, some of them are in the shop, so have a look. And some are very old from my stash, so no possible to 
trace even the name because because I don't know it simply as that. Okay. Oops. And the lady she wanted to be there. Maybe. Hmm. Or maybe some flowers, do you know? Um Oh, come on, babinka. You're fine. <laughs> Nothing is happening. Oh, I love that. I, do you know what? I'm gonna just add hair only. The, the, the metal embellishments, I don't know if I will add at all. Let's see if we have to, because maybe she's pretty the way she is. Just the way she is, like that. Oh, Jenny Macarella, I need a lot of gel medium here because she's like in the air nearly so it's gonna be hard to stick her down <clears throat> okay oh and I have the alarm I love that guys I'm gonna leave it as this like that awesome okay 10 past 3 that means I have to run for Emily in 20 minutes so I need to change Hannah and all okay I'll be back to you shortly <laughs> I didn't go for Hannah yet because she kind of quietened. She's she grabbed something from her cot. Oh, she's throwing the books out. <laughs> of course. So I'm just gonna attach those, let it dry, and be back to you with gessoing and priming all for color work. So I love this so much. I have to tell you this honestly. I think it's gorgeous. So so much. Beauty. I'm gonna only get rid of ah, this bit there we go that's better and now wow I love it so much okay I'm gonna run for Hannah and Emily bye 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 hello hello everyone I'm back the next day everything is beautiful everything is dry and we can paint now we can decide what color we're gonna go for and I was thinking to go for some kind of vintagey uh, dark color really detailed showing Mm, we will see what we're gonna have. I have black gess, I have white gess, and I have this antique cream brownish color. So maybe something along those lines. But before that, I'm gonna just uh, uh, quickly add some white gesso into a few places, like this one, for example. And also a little bit of priming <laughs> the chipboard as well. Uh -huh. The rest is pretty much prime and you don't really have to prime your <clears throat> um, resins but if you feel like, ah uh, sure you can, touches, it's not gonna do any harm, you can but you don't have to, uh, it will hold the paint anyway, but if you feel like, let's do it, let's do it, let's prime everything, making sure that it will all be nice and it will all hold on to mediums and all. So, there we go, here and there, here and there, everywhere, as they say. <laughs> okay, so a bit of touches of gesso here and here as well on our lock, pretty lock. And um, this lock is actually available in my store if you wish to have a look. The links are at the end of the video, so have a look. Same for the beautiful gorgeous resins those resins absolutely love them love them very delicate but you see i hope i showed you that even if it breaks down any of your products that you ever get you can still use them you know you can still use them okay so let's dry that and i'll be, I'll be back to you back to you with everything being dry i hope anyway <laughs> so let's grab some black now and i was thinking to use as i said black and this brown let's see this brown oh it's gorgeous or maybe just this brown i don't know i'm gonna concentrate on the grooves right now in here so that everything is gonna be nice and Everything is gonna be in between the grooves and then I'm gonna wipe it off. So that's the plan. That's the plan in this technique, especially when you have big grooves like I have right now. And it's gonna be not difficult to make things staying inside there. And then you can take the baby wipe, I'm gonna show you. And just nicely, you see? Clean it off. So what happens then, we are left with this absolutely gorgeous so 
um, vintagey, rusty, not even rusty, rusty is a bad word, vintagey, um, old look of the, um, that something is, you know, old and used and all. So, so really technically what we will be doing now, I will be just adding the paint everywhere, especially making sure that it does go in the grooves, especially on my resins because these are the most you you kind of get the paint the best in there and I think the rest of the things like um like um, like the rest of the box I hope that I'm gonna add some as well in the edges kind of so we will see look guys we will see I may use some sprayed water as well to help this move I'll see how this is gonna be <laughs> but this is what it looks for now. Does not look too pretty, isn't it? But that's okay. That's okay. It all changes, guys, when you start wiping it off. Now, this paint is not acrylic. It's water-based. Yes. Fast drying, not permanent, though. So, if it's not perma permanent, means that I can definitely wash it off, clean it off. So, oftentimes I get the question, how do you keep this like forever? Well, you can f spray fixative over it, or you can go with gel medium gently. But gel medium is, gel medium is also water-based, I think. Or whichever it is, you have to make sure that you're not gonna get your paints and colors moving. So, spray fixative or hairspray could do the magic trick for you guys if you really tempted to keep your project forever um, and you want to have them colored colors or for all forever there so okay that's what we have right now I'm gonna get whoopsie I'm gonna get and do same thing here at least I'll try in the grooves of my magical beautiful resins Mm -hmm. Now everything is gonna be definitely painted, but I'm just now concentrating on the the objects, the the standing out elements, the things that stand out the most, and that way this can dry. And while this is drying, we can do other things. Now what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna grab some water and the spray water. Oops. Oh, sorry spray water right now and see if I can there we go so even without a wipe there's a fair chance that I'm gonna just have this gorgeous so nicely color going on my on my box there we go there we go look at that haha <laughs> because I really wish this to be delicate and brownish Hmm, there we go. Let's see if I add some color there now and here as well and here and there as well. And since it's not permanent, it is moving as you can see. It is moving so hmm, nice, 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 nice. I like that. Now I definitely wish to have a little bit of more color happening here, I think. I guess <laughs> same for here same for here downstairs here downstairs there mm -hmm. and maybe a bit of here a bit of there nice isn't it that is gorgeous so already it looks very vintagey very old and worn and all so that's lovely jovely a little bit of there oh. You are gorgeous, Missy. Now, another thing, guys, that I hoped to do was touches of black gesso. So, how is that um, with it? I don't know. I am purely trying and experimenting this right now with you as we speak. So, I have some black here. <laughs> do you know, I'm going to water it down a little bit. This is black gesso. I'd say you can use black acrylic paint if you don't have black gesso it should do similar magic I'm guessing oh nice okay oh, what about if I go to the grooves mainly <laughs> oh nice hello there even more paint mm-hmm maybe not on her face 
Okay. That's nice. What a color now we're gonna achieve. This is gonna be interesting to see, isn't it? I think a little bit of there. Now with the coloring, guys, I always says to you that it is very time consuming. It's good to take your time, not rush anything. Think for what your step is and take your time. Take your time, you're not on the race or anything. And it takes time to do it nicely, to love it, you know. So take your time. Okay, since I absolutely love what I see. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. I like that movement. Uh, since I love what I see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry that now quickly. I'll show you what I mean. Like everywhere. The more I'm looking at it, that the more I'm thinking that I really wish to have a little bit more darker here. Even more than it's now. So a little bit. Look what I'm doing. I'm not going into directly into the whole box. I am just at the grooves and I'm just at the edges of the elements here. I hope you can tell. I hope you can see that easily. So we're kind of trying to, you know, gain some kind of... Uh, make some sense here, basically. So it's like this. I don't want this to be too dark, but at the same time if I spray water straight away, nothing is gonna stay. So I'm gonna try I'm trying to dry it slightly, then wash it with water a little bit so something will stay, something won't, and that's kind of that's kind of jazz. I'm sorry for um, for all the noises, but I really wish you to see it all, you know? So that's why. I hope you can forgive me the drying, because I don't want to speed it up, I want you to see, because it, it is a little bit of time consuming this process right now, with the spraying and water and drying and all. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is what we have right now. It's far from finished, guys. Please do not pay attention much of it yet. It's far from finished. I'm just cleaning this because I don't want much of a stains here, to be very honest. We're going to be cleaning that off anyway with the gesso afterwards, but still, I'm just tidying up. So we have touches of brown, I hope you can tell. And we have the bra blacks, maybe a bit too much, but relax, relax. Everything is under control. So a little bit of more brown here and there because we kind of lost it in the run in 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 the in the whole thing i love it i think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous so once it's finished of course because it takes time to finish it so let's see actually same 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 place here a little bit of the of the coloring here here, here, here and there. Ah, what happened there? Okay. So this is mm, pretty much dry, definitely to the top part, so let's see. Let's take a baby wipe and let's reveal, let's see what's gonna happen there. I'm gonna clean off her pretty face. Okay, now the heat kind of moved 
a bit there. Oh, this dried very permanently, this black. No! No! Too much! <laughs> that's okay, but maybe, maybe that's even better. Oh! There we go. So, um, lovely. Let's wash it off, clean it off. The gel medium is moving slightly under my elements because of the heat. Don't worry, it's fine, it will be back. Sometimes it's good to just not heat and wait a few minutes. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We have the grooves working really nice. That's perfect. Perfectly perfect. Wait till we're gonna have our... Um, what's the word? Our... Um, gesso over. It's gonna change everything, guys. You know, it will change everything to the better. To the better. Mm -hmm. So things are staying in the grooves, as you can tell. And the rest, we can wash it, clean it off more or less. Now, if you feel like changing the baby white for the new one, do so. Mm -hmm. Now, my gesso. <laughs> It's definitely uh, dried, harder to wash it off, but it's possible, look. And we'll be dry gessoing anyway, so there's no stress over that. Gorgeous, I love that so much. Mm -hmm. It takes time, guys, it takes time. The coloring part, all of this, it takes time. Please allow yourself, look, magic appears. Magic appears. I love it so much. Now, this part. Not so easy with them. <laughs> with them um, resins because they are sharper, sh sharp, sharpy a little bit. But it's possible if you take your time. It's possible. Mm-hmm. That's lovely, jovely. Oh wow. Okay, her hair. She's not brunette. She shouldn't be brunette. <laughs> okay. Ah. okay. Let me just clean that as well. That's what we have right now. And we are pretty much ready to completely dry it. So, yeah, we kind of have to start drying this for definite. I think I need a little bit more black there. Dry it and then clean it off, guys. I think it's a bit too bright as for my liking. So... Another quite important thing when you are doing a box is the box sides because it's not only your top part but also your your um, you know your edges of the whole box it's just nice to outline them as well and show them that they are an important part of the box of course so even if you just have a touch of color, nothing too serious, but just a touch of color, that's that's great already. Mm -hmm. You can do that with ink as well, you know. You could do that with ink too, no problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I... Uh, yeah, I am in the frame, you can see me. <laughs> okay. Now, looks great, I think. A mix of both brown and... There we go. So it looks, you know, it all kind of nicely matches now. I love that so much. Even kind of going more there. Wow. 
so as I mentioned coloring part is time consuming it's worth it it's <laughs> it's beautiful so take your time let's dry the corners the edges as well okay guys so now uh, when everything is dry it's time to do dry gessoing. Now the dry gessoing technique is basically having a bit of gesso on your brush and you're starting off with just kind of touches of gesso here and there, here and there in different places and you're trying to kind of this flicking motion of your wrist so that way you're not gonna have too much gesso in one place you just have to kind of be pretty fast in it and you see I can, hope you can hear actually <laughs> now I also wish this part to be brighter this part of the box and also here where the color meets kind of soften up and make this kind of you know more delicate I guess mm-hmm I love that so now, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not going to dry uh, your project too well, you may end up with having your gesso being covered in paint. So be careful. You make sure that before you dry gessoing, you properly dry your whole piece, whole project. Now, let's go on the side for now, just to see. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it so much. So I'm going with my dry gesso really everywhere. It's kind of like a frosty effect, really. It looks gorgeous on the lace itself, as you can tell. Well, it looks everywhere gorgeous. <laughs> it's a very well-known technique. Dry gessoing of, on all colors, it just gives you this beautiful touch, fi finish touch. But so again, it's a personal thing. It's about your liking, how you love having it. And maybe some people prefer the no gesso look at it. So, you know, it's a personal thing, guys. I always says that every project, the way we do it, it's a personal choice how we finish it how we do it and all so everywhere I'm kind of trying to add and make this all nice and cohesive on all angles of it I hope I'm not too much off the camera no somehow <laughs> the back happened to be um, what's the word happened to be oh there we go <laughs> uncolored but there we go a little touches of not too much not too much as you could see mm -hmm. there we go that's enough And then when we have a bit of gesso, we can add touches of gesso even more and kind of all of that bring together. So, wow, wow. By the way, I meant to tell you that you don't hear Henio recently because Henio is in the corridor. <laughs> Hannah took over his space. And he's in the corridor. I think he's happier there. There we go. Wow! Do you think we can call this done and dusted? Possibly. Even more here of the contrasting white. And I hope you can see that I'm working very much on the very dry gesso. I'm not adding too much on my brush. Just a little bit. Here and there, here and there, everywhere and nowhere. 
that makes any sense to you. There we go. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. So you see when we're adding the gesso now, all the grooves, the dark grooves, oh, don't move lady, all the grooves are now standing out very much nicely and it just looks great. I think we can call this lady, this box finished, I think so, I really think so, let me show you it from all angles. Wow, oops. <laughs> now, of course, inside uh, I would dry that because this is wet. I would dry it and definitely maybe add some delicate brush, uh, delicate paint inside, like a wash, really wet wash, even like a watercolor wash, something delicate if you fancy it. Or maybe you can add some uh, papers as well, so whatever suits you. But I think I can call this one, oops, I think I need a bit of more. There we go. I think I can call this one done and dusted, guys. And I I really really hope you liked it and found it inspirational, helpful and needed. I should be back to projects like that but as always your opinion matters the most so tell me whatever you feel. Did you enjoy this um, tutorial? Would you like to see something else? I love the I love the front I have to say. Well I love it all. <laughs> kind of uh, yeah. Mm. You could use really any colors you wish, but I, I somehow felt that this just will look beautiful. This uh, vintage, this kind of old Victorian uh, icy look, I just absolutely adore it, love it. So I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming. And also, if you could share this video with your friends, it would be absolutely amazing yes i'm thanking you in advance for doing so uh yes and i'm gonna wrap up with that i love you and i already miss you i'll see you very soon bye 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 happy crafting